are joined by the founder and CEO of Semvita, Moji Kurimi. Thank you very much for coming on the show. We're a biotech company and we engineer and optimize microbes for sustainable solutions. So we're all familiar with microbes, you know, in a brewery industry, turning wow. sugar into, uh, you know, into alcohol. For our technology, our microbes eat CO2 or hydrocarbons and turn them, turn them into other uh, chemicals and fuels, uh, including uh, hydrogen. And so th this is amazing. Are they uh, well, they're naturally occurring or are they genetically engineered? Yeah, these are microbes that are naturally uh, occurring that we isolate by taking oil samples from uh, depleted reservoirs. Mm. And then we optimize that reaction by introducing additional nutrients uh, for these microbes to basically use the unrecovered hydrocarbon as their food. And then through a process called dark fermentation, turn that into hydrogen. Now, you, if I have it right, say you can produce hydrogen for a dollar US a kilogram. Is, is that cheap? That's correct. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cheap uh, for a low carbon source of hydrogen. And the reason that we're able to do that is because we're basically reutilizing an existing infrastructure. Um, ah. You know, the CapEx has already been deployed for these assets to be developed. We basically look at this on, on uh, you know, uh, uh, depleted oil and gas reservoirs as a uh, subsurface facility for hydrogen and using that unrecovered hydrocarbons as a feeder stock. Now, you have degrees in drilling and petroleum engineering, so you have a lot of background here. You say the in existing infrastructure, but isn't hydrogen tricky? It can corrode metals and it leaks out through tiny gaps and stuff. Yeah, of course, there is some new uh, kind of in terms of well integrity and the work that needs to be done to ensure that, but we're also living off of basically a lot of previous work that has been done for mm -hmm. subsurface storage of hydrogen. And there's been other initiatives also uh, for subsurface production of hydrogen. We just have a natural way of doing that. Now, some people are gonna roll their eyes at this because we've got blue hydrogen, we've got gray hydrogen, green hydrogen. You're talking about gold hydrogen here. Yeah, I mean, it's a new color. We felt that it's it makes more sense to add a new color to the spectrum. Mm -hmm. Eventually, of course, all the colors are going to go away. And then we'll just look at the carbon intensity of the different ways of producing hydrogen. And we feel at that point also gold hydrogen would have a really good uh, position uh, to provide a low carbon source of hydrogen to the market. And essentially gold hydrogen is using old oil and gas wells to produce the gas. Exactly. And our main really, uh, you know, cost is going to be the, the nutrients that we pump in and the cost of pumping itself. Very cheap feeder stock available in the reservoir and also the infrastructure that is already built. Um, tell us, you now, America has just passed some sweeping legislation aimed at reducing emissions. And some of these tax credits are going to be great for you, apparently. Yeah, I mean, it's important to note uh, when we develop technology as entrepreneurs, uh, we, we do it such that uh, it's economically viable, independent of any tax benefits or kind of government policies. Mm -hmm. um, also, for you know the work that needs to be done to reverse climate change, it has to be beyond what government governments wants to do. Uh, that said, there is a lot of good provisions in the uh, you know IRA that also applies uh, to uh, some of the technology. For hydrogen, there is up to $3 per kilogram of hydrogen uh, that also applies to gold hydrogen. Whoa. Just before we let you go, how much have you raised? Can you, uh, can you give us a ballpark figure on how much you've raised? Yeah, I mean, our company as a whole, we've raised about $40 million uh, mm -hmm. in general. Seven million of, of that is into our uh, gold hydrogen entity called Gold H2 LLC.